So let, let's talk about the elephants in the room, okay? So this is a lot, yeah? We all okay? Like we've, we've been here for a couple of minutes now. We've been able to familiarize ourselves with the space. This is a lot. And there's new here too. John's here. Hi, John. Uh, and he has added to the, the stuff. And I want to tell you that it's going to be okay. We've all been in high school where there's some principal who's upset with us about something and there's some kind of sound event that happens and it's, we just want to die from secondhand embarrassment. It's going to be okay. I'm a professional. We're not flying rocket ships today, folks. We're just making uh, sounds with our computer. His name's Stan. And I'm gonna show you some of what we do here before we get going. I wanted to tell you that this show does not use any generative AI in its production or its writing. All of the uh, voice work you hear has been done uh, by voice actors. There's no generative uh, that. All the writing has been done by either writers or myself, and all of the music has been uh, written by real people, which I think is something that we need to hear. But I don't lose sleep at night over audio. I want you to know, I don't lose sleep at night over audio. I feel pretty good about my mics, feel pretty good about the stuff. I lose sleep over visuals. So I am about to do, I'm about to attempt, I'm about to try to perform the most difficult part of my show. Please bear with me while I do this incredibly difficult visual task. Squat down, look left. Swipe, 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 find the mouse, click, green button, click here, slide, 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 back there, find Ableton, click, drag, 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 find green, find green, click, click, open, scroll down, close that, swipe, 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 stand up, turn, smile. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So this is inside Stan, and I use a program called Ableton Live to do what I do, and it's, it's, it's called a DAW, a digital audio workstation, and I imagine that some of you have seen this before. Uh, the special thing about Ableton is the session view, and we are able to do a lot of things in a timeless way. We don't read music from left to right all the time in Ableton, so we have a lot of different ways we can control things. Uh, so I want you to take a look up there. What, you've all been on YouTube and seen those folks who they play guitar. I don't know why my guitar's up here. You play guitar for four bars, and then you play drums for four bars, and then you play uh, the rubber duck for four bars, and it all layers together like Shrek's favorite fruit, yeah? Um, and I do that, and I love that type of work, but it, it kind of, you can get a little simple when you're doing that type of work. So. I use this technique called IAC driver MIDI looping, now you're all asleep, and I am able to get to really small loops, which helps me add a ton of complexity. So if we take a look here, I have this more traditional left to right view that we see in Ableton. I promise this isn't a lecture. So when we're in this normal place, we can fill these boxes with sound and then we can click on them and they will play those sounds. And by nature of the cube, we can play them in any configuration, which allows us to do incredible things. This is all controlled in this wonderful red place labeled control. And if we go from left to right, you can see I have these little red bricks. And all those little red bricks have bits of MIDI data that Stan reads and goes, oh, in this second, I'm supposed to listen to Brian and record what he's doing and then stop doing this other time I was listening and then play this other thing that I heard earlier. And we go through, and there are many of these triggers. And we go from left to right, and that's how we write a tune. So just to give you a context of how uh, significant some of these pieces are, I'm going to zoom out. So you see, I've basically written a small barcode for some of these pieces, which enables me to do incredibly complex things. So I'm gonna do a piece for you now called First Takes Number Four, which uses this technique and only this technique. There's no sound preloaded into stand right now. This is, uh, this is real life. And I, uh, if you are someone with constitution that makes you anxious or uncomfortable when seeing uh, little yellow boxes, uh, pre please look away. Thank you. 
control a lot of these devices with my hands. Just like Stan can, I can come up here and see a grid pattern just like you see up there. Which lets me do a ton of things. So I, I, I went to a show, um, this was a show in Melbourne actually, and Someone told me, they raised their hand at the end of the show, and they accused me basically of this having been faked, right? And I was fortunate enough to have an audio engineer in the back working that show. And he very loudly and quite rudely uh, yelled out, you know, it'd be way harder to fake that than to do it live. So just to kind of show you that this is real life. I wanted to play for you. Uh, first takes number four, you saw it was the same file, uh, just played slightly differently. <laughs> who knows anything about brass playing knows that I cannot do that consistently. So uh, first takes number four with a little bit of adjustments. Who remembers a couple of minutes ago when I did the most difficult thing in the show? I am now going to attempt to try to do this backwards. I don't have the lyrics. I minimize the fix. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Wrong way. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Click. Click, ooh, da da da, maximize, 